And get your binoculars out or start looking real close. The Michigan Department of Agriculture wants you to be on the lookout for the spotted lanternfly. It's an invasive insect that can have a big negative impact on Michigan's crop of grapevines, apple and cherry trees and other crops. Uh, it was first found in the U.S. in 2014 in Pennsylvania. And now infestations are being confirmed in five states this season. It hasn't been seen in Michigan yet, but if you do see one and they're easy to spot, you're asked to take photos and take note of the time and location, then report them to the DNR or Department of Agriculture. They're kind of cool looking, but they are not cool yeah. for our crops. Right, but all. what's next? I mean, we talked about uh, murder hornets and now the spotted on, lanternfly. Right? Ah, oh, Kevin, well, at least we've got some nice, comfortable weather to look forward to this week. Yeah, we do indeed. <laughs> it's tough being a farmer, guys. You're talking about those kind of problems, frost, freeze, uh, too much water, not enough uh, water, uh, disease, fire or fire blight or blight uh, on those crops. Boy, there's a lot of things that those farmers have to deal with. So my hat's off to you folks uh, for what you do for us here. As we look out, good evening, everybody. In Grand Rapids, we've got quiet conditions, nice light uh, display going on there as you look out over the city. Dark conditions, obviously. Those days that continue to get a little bit shorter now because we've passed that summer solstice. Cool and comfortable, as Janice just alluded to, the next couple of days with highs in the 70s. And we could already feel a lot of the moisture has been stripped out of the atmosphere. Next best rain chance coming in here widespread with some thunderstorms Friday evening and Friday night. We might pick up an isolated shower tomorrow, but most of us won't see that. But the chance will be there. More heat and humidity by Friday and beyond as well. So there's a couple of light showers and sprinkles out here between Milwaukee and Sheboygan. Those aren't moving much at all. And then right along in southeastern uh, Van Buren County and southwestern uh, Kalamazoo County, those are dropping down to the southeast. Those are a couple of sprinkles, basically, and maybe enough to wet the pavement down. And that's about it. Mainly, we stay dry through the overnight hours here. Our temperatures in the mid to upper 50s to even uh, mid 60s right now. 65 degrees in Grand Rapids. Again, that's part of it. I remember standing here 24 hours ago saying we and looking at dew point temperatures, they were in the mid to upper 60s. I said it would be a cooler, drier air mass, and the, look at these dew point temperatures have fallen into the 50s. And once we get these back into the 50s, we strip out more of the moisture out there and more of the humidity in the atmosphere, and we could certainly feel a little more comfortable. That will be the case over the next couple of days here. Our clouds and radar movement back six hours ago here and uh, to the current time, and you can see there's a spiraling motion here, that low pressure area continuing to lift into Canada, but there's some upper level energy that's going to pivot around as that low departs. And even though the sun has uh, kind of set now, uh, a lot of this activity was being driven by the sun and the heat and the energy. Once it comes back out tomorrow, the sun that is, that will drive some of those showers uh, along with that upper level energy. So we might see a couple of isolated showers around here tomorrow, but a lot of the day will be dry. So our forecast for tomorrow, Grand Rapids and vicinity, partly cloudy to partly sunny, an isolated shower possible. Temperatures around 74 with the west wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Let's head down a little further to the south. Kalamazoo and you folks down uh, the east of there in Battle Creek, you're partly cloudy to partly sunny again, maybe an isolated shower. Hour. Temperatures a couple of degrees warmer there. You may make 76 there again with that west wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that means out at the lakeshore too. the lakeshore locations will be a little bit cooler with the wind coming off the lake. Lake Michigan water temperatures have dropped into the 50s in most spots from the satellite imagery there. Waves one to two feet in the morning, two to three feet in the afternoon with westerly winds at about 10 to 15 knots. Maybe a shower out there in the afternoon as well. Here's what it looks like on uh, Future Track HD here. And you can see these dashed black lines just represent a little disturbance, some upper level energy kind of pivoting on through. Watch the way the showers kind of pop up here. That along with the daytime heating and cool temperatures in place as well. The sun sets, those showers go away. Thursday looks dry, partly cloudy skies, but that cool, comfortable air will be in place. As we go Thursday night into Friday, we're talking clear to partly cloudy skies. Here comes our next weather system. Friday daytime hours will be dry, but by the time we get into the afternoon, and this is going to be moving our way, we'll have the chance of some showers and thunderstorms by that time. So we talked about tomorrow, 77, partly cloudy on Thursday, 84, more heat and humidity for Friday, with p.m. and nighttime showers and storms likely that goes into early Saturday 81 there and then we're in the mid maybe the upper 80s for the beginning to middle portion of next week it looks dry at that time but certainly more heat and humidity by those days as well Doug Janice all right